The United States Navy was born during the American Revolution when the need for a naval force to match the Royal Navy became clear. However, its legacy was short-lived, being demolished by 1785. One of our nation's founding fathers, President George Washington, showing foresight for his young country, persuaded Congress to authorize a new naval force to combat the growing menace of piracy on the high seas in 1797. The teenage crews of the first few naval vessels were fraught with discipline issues, and as a result, the Secretary of the Navy, George Bancroft, established a naval school on the shores of the Seven River in 1845, with an original class size of just 50 midshipmen and seven professors. The curriculum included mathematics, navigation, gunnery, steam, chemistry, English, French, and natural philosophy. This was the birth of the United States Naval Academy, which has evolved into a co-educational, world-class undergraduate institution, providing midshipmen with state-of-the-art academic and professional training that they need to become effective Naval and Marine Corps officers. Hi, my name is Chris Hall. I'm a midshipman at the Naval Academy, but today I'll be your personal tour guide. The best way to experience USNA is with a tour of the yard. Come with me and I'll show you our first spot. Behind this, the Alma Web, which is the center, located right outside of the Gate 1. Having probably the best views on campus, it sits right on the banks of the Severn River and has a beautiful view of the ETA. Here you'll find next to an Aussie Field House and behind it, um, the admission use and admissions. Roommates from all 50 states, territories, foreign countries, and other diverse cultural backgrounds become friends in a matter of minutes here in Bancroft Hall. Bancroft Hall is not only the second largest dormitory in the world, but also houses 4,500 midshipmen. Here, midshipmen spend all four years in Mother B. The hall consists of over 4,600 beds, 1,600 rooms, 4.83 miles of corridor, and 33 acres of space, which we call P-Ways. Whoa, is that the bell? I gotta get to class. Come with me. The academic curriculum here at the Naval Academy covers a wide variety of topics and interests. While the primary focus is STEM, we also take a number of classes that prepare us for leadership in the Navy and Marine Corps. 
In addition, we also take a number of classes that involve humanitarian and social sciences to make sure we have an all-around good education for when we go out into the fleet. The Naval Academy offers 33 men's, women's, and co-ed Division I level varsity sports teams, which is unbelievable for a student body of 4,500. All of our teams are highly competitive against other colleges and universities in the Patriot and American Leagues. Our 16 club sports teams are just as competitive, if not more, than our varsity sports. Most players in this program are former high school athletes who desire to continue playing a sport, learn a new one, or are seeking rigorous competition. Although these teams are not sanctioned by the NCAA, they get to travel and compete against area colleges. There is also an extensive intramural program that pits midshipmen companies in athletic competition. The games are particularly spirited and allow midshipmen to participate in competitions appropriate to their individual athletic ability throughout the fall and spring months. There are more than 100 extracurricular activities, or ECAs, that give midshipmen a chance to share recreational, professional, and athletic interests. This list is not all-inclusive, as new clubs are being formed every day. Think about what you're passionate of, and join in on the fun. Hip hip hooray! And into the air the hats go. The famous tossing of the covers marks the end of the U.S. Naval Academy's graduation ceremony. The Naval Academy cover toss symbolizes the closing of a midshipman's chapter at USNA and the beginning of their new one as a newly commissioned officer in the Navy or Marine Corps. The graduating class walks out of Navy and Marine Corps Stadium with their undergraduate Bachelor of Sciences degree as well as their commission as an ensign or in the Navy or the second lieutenant in the Marine Corps. They have the next five years or more to serve their nation. I hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds of the yard today. Hopefully next time we can see you in person, we'll be happy to welcome you aboard.